Okay, let's talk a little bit about head pressure or feet of head and pounds per square inch. Um, real quickly, I'm going to explain to you the concept of uh, feet of head and pounds per square inch. Uh, a little bit of physics involved here. Uh, it does go into more detail in the textbook. Again, kind of like with the pounds formula, uh, if you want to go deeper and, and kind of understand the physics behind it uh, that is covered in the back of the textbook, for the purposes of this class, all you really need to know are the conversions, and these conversions uh, will be given on your formula sheet. So you don't even really need to know them, you just need to know that they're on the formula sheet. And so the concept of this is uh, in pumping, um, if you have to understand uh, the idea of atmospheric pressure. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm not a physics whiz by, by any stretch of the imagination, uh, so bear with me if I get the physics wrong. But basically you have atmospheric pressure pushing down uh, on the water surface and exerting pressure. And uh, hopefully we all know that the deeper the water is, the more weight, more atmospheric pressure, as well as gravitational pull is exerted on the water. Um, so the deeper you are under water, the more pressure there is. And so uh, there is an equivalent pressure uh, per foot of water, and that would be uh, for every foot of water or foot of head. So this is really what we're talking about. There is 0.433 psi. So for every pound per square inch equals 2.31 feet of head, or every foot of head equals 0.433 pounds per square inch. So these problems uh, that you see are pretty straightforward. For example, let's take a look at, at a problem like question number one, convert, we'll say as an example, 160 feet of water to pounds per square inch. So feet of water is synonymous with feet of head. Pounds per square inch gauge is synonymous with PSI. So the conversion is the same. 160 feet equals, uh, uh, you, you can plug it in this way. You can either multiply 160 feet times one foot, or whoops, let me get this right if I'm going to do it. You can either multiply it by 0.433 pounds per square inch, or you could set it up this way. 160 feet over 2.31 feet of head. So either way the feet are going to cancel out. If you divide 160 by 2.31 you get 69.3 if you multiply 160 times 0.433, you get, wait for it, 69.3. Uh, same thing with question number two, uh, only this time you're given PSI, 200 and, okay, I'm going to use a different number so that you can actually work the actual problem out yourself, but let's say 260. PSI equals how many feet of head? So 
again, you can either uh, use either one of the conversions. 260 PSI. Dimes. One over point four three three PSI. PSIs cancel out. And you you're going to be left with six hundred point five feet or you can do the same thing using the other conversion 260 PSI times 2.31 feet over 1 PSI again the PSI's cancel out 260 times 2.31 equals, in this case, 600.6 .6 feet of head. So those are the two basic problems that you have. Uh, three and four are the same problem. They're just worded a little differently. Number three, it says that the water in a tank is so many feet deep. What is the gauge reading at the bottom of the tank? So in that case, 32 feet above the bottom of the tank is going to be 32 feet of head. So you need to convert that uh, number of feet into pounds per square inch. And then question number four, basically the problem in reverse. You're given a pressure at the bottom of the tank, and it wants to know how many feet of water are above that gauge. So how deep is the water? And then the last problem, problem number five, is a little different. And what you need to know for problem number five is that PSIG stands for pounds per square inch gauge. So you're given a number of pounds and a surface area in square inches. So pounds per square inch gauge tells you how to set the problem up. Pounds, remember per always means divide. Pounds divided by square inches. So uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about with uh, starting to get comfortable with uh, understanding that the word per means that you're going to have a division problem and also kind of understanding uh, roots like squ square roots and, and cube roots and numbers being squared and cubed. Uh, so when you look at a problem like that rather than trying to memorize how to apply all these formulas that, that basically by reading the problem you kind of know uh, how, how to set the equation up. So. Okay, that's uh, PSI and feet of head, chapter 3 in the ATCO workbook.